Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. We are up to Seasons. We have previously just finished Ages and now we're doing Seasons. As you can see we have put in the code. I didn't want to just like have you look at me put in the code for like 10 years. So essentially we're going to be getting into this and as you, can be, uh, as you have been able to tell we're doing two episodes of Zelda every single week now. Uh, I do have thumbnails in the same style made for a bunch of the different games so hopefully you'll all enjoy that um and just enjoy like the kind of like you know consistency we have always go with fast message speed and we immediately get into the thick of it so previously uh we defeated varan and lit the flame of sorrow <laughs> varan sorceress of shadows twin rover will not let your deeds be wasted Look, Baron, the troubles you've caused now burn as the flame of sorrow. When the flames of destruction and despair are lit, we will offer up our sacrifice and the dark rites of the Gerudo will be complete. Then the evil king shall return. <laughs> uh, such a cool uh, cutscene you get. Uh, I do think it's honestly worth playing both games. Uh, I like how there's a glitch going on right now with the visual end. Accept our quest, hero. Uh, accept our quest, hero. I wonder if this is going to be as uh, glitchy as Zelda Ages was at the very start. But this is super nostalgic because uh, I played this game. I lost my copy of Zelda Ages when I moved, uh, like a, a far, a far, a pretty far away. Um, but this is the scene of the thumbnail. So yay, thumbnail guys. Uh, I do think there's a order. Um, I guess we'll actually listen to them. You're awake. Please relax. Join our jovial troop of performers for a bit. That's just our guys. I can't say it too loud, but we're really highly nice. Dean has been caring for you ever since she found you. She's strong-willed, but very kind. I must keep her from harm. Ah, the Oracle's a lovely dancer. And it's the only female. Hi, I'm on a secret mission under the orders of Princess Zelda. Seeing Din dance is just so moving. I won't let any harm befall her. Link, you have awakened. It's me, Impa, Zelda's nurse. Din is the, da the dancing girl. Found you collapsed on the forest floor. She cared for you through your nightmares. Are you any better? So literally, we have n more nightmares, so maybe more places where Zelda Link's Awakening could be. Are you better? Then listen, Link. When I returned t to Hyrule, Zelda told me that in addition to Nehru and uh, Din, the Oracle Seasons was also uh, Din, the Oracle Seasons was also in danger. So, as she requested, we have posed as a traveling troop so we can sneak Din into Hyrule. You have awakened. Good. I worried the whole time you slept. You're Link, right? How do you know? How do you know Link? I am Din. You're the one who saved Nehru, the Oracle of Ages, and Libruna. Uh, Libruna. Libruna. I saw a red flash in the woods, and when I went to see it, to see what it was, you were lying there. I'm glad you're feeling better. Come, won't you dance with me? Don't be shy. Dancing will ease your heart. And Din is just a girl boss. Total girl boss. Uh, I think honestly, Nehru and Din in this game are both amazing. Like neither, like both of them are just awesome characters. Din is just like this really peppy, cheerful uh, girl. Nehru is like this more soft and reserved. But like they're both like really like they're both character rich. Uh, it's been a while since I've had so much fun dancing. Hey, your left hand has the triangle on it. That is a sacred symbol in Hyrule. If it's the true symbol, then you're a hero with a special fate, Link. Like Nehru, I'm also a target, but I refuse to fall, no matter the enemy, and my heart lifts when Link is beside me. Let us dance. Already flirting. <laughs> Probably better for Link than a tree, let's be honest. <laughs> I found you, Din. You hid yourself well, but you cannot escape Onyx, General of Darkness, with his two-leveled tornado. S 
So you're the boy who defeated Varen, sorceress of shadows. I'll not fall as easily as she. Ah, Link. Link is like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, now I can play the game. Bada bada. Bada bada. What do you... What do you plan to do with me? As you know, if I imprison the Oracle of Seasons and bury the temple that houses the Season Spirits, the Seasons of Holodrum will be cast into chaos. The bountiful gifts of nature shall rot, and all living things shall perish. That is the world of darkness that I long for. No, Onyx, no. <laughs> Go, my weird rupees, imprisoning magic. Yeah. Now you will be a gimmick in a boss fight. <laughs> Down, Temple of Seasons. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Fall into chaos. So, like, this game has such a cooler start. Like, it really, it just gets into the game way more. I really hope that my, uh, my, uh, voice acting actually worked there. But I love the fact, like, literally, like, shit just goes ham immediately. Go! <laughs> Thank God he's not as present as Varen, because that voice will kill me. Front facing Link can't hurt you. Link, are you alright? That which Zelda foresaw has come to pass. First Labrina, now Holodrum, has come to an hour of tri tribulation, Link. I always come to you in need, but there is no one else I can turn to. Please, will you rescue Din? Please take my message to the Maku Tree in Horn Village. The Maku Tree is the guardian of all of Holodrum. Surely he can help. Don't we have a sword? Yeah, we have a sword already. Uh, which is also really awesome. Uh, so in this version, if you already have the sword, uh, you don't need to worry as much. And I don't mean worry as in like actual worry. Uh, yeah. Worry is in like you don't have to do as much. You could actually speed this game up a lot by just having the sword. Um, obviously, gameplay follows the same structure. However, in this game, the seasons mechanic is the thing. So essentially, every single map, there are places of the map that really change depending on the seasons, uh, which is actually really interesting. If we were playing on the Game Boy Advance, uh, we would actually have the Game Boy Advance store right here. But because we're not, we don't have it. Um, is there anything immediately... I keep thinking of randomizers whenever I think of this game, by the way. Uh, is there anything immediate that I can do? Link, we meet again. Do you remember naming our son Smaz? He's quite well. Oh, I remember Smaz. He's a good friend. Um, I think we'll just go and get some money just so that we can get a shield. Um, yeah, hopefully there's no crazy glitches. Like, I think that is kind of the coolest part of, uh, C uh, Ages, was just the crazy start of it. Where, like, literally it was like, this, like what the hell is going on kind of moment. Um, so essentially, when you do this game, uh, you always come up here. Because, why not? Alright, because we're doing this differently, there's actually like a full-on different dungeon here. I forgot about that. Yeah, there's like, uh, so originally this area is just like this really simple, basic, bitch easy, um, place. But because of the fact that, um, we're playing technically like a hero quest kind of version, and not the, uh, terrible game that's like, uh, meant to just, uh, steal your money um yes because of that um it's just like this simple uh you know like you get like this extra bonus dungeon essentially is all it is autumn um do we buy bombs from here 
I feel like we do, right? Yeah, we buy bombs. It is the fucking weirdest thing, by the way, that you just buy bombs there. Uh, whoa. The fuck? That was so weird. Uh, sorry. Uh, like, the overlay got fucked for a second there. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do is essentially awesome. We got a first try. So, when it is winter, uh, there's actually an extra chest you can get. Um, so, there's a place here that will go eventually. But as you can see, uh, just boom. For now, we really only need that for like very certain things. And we got 20 more rupees! But yeah, this version of the game is actually a lot more enjoyable for a lot of people. A lot of people feel like Seasons is a pretty bare bones game. Uh, because it isn't as constantly needy as, um... I would say, uh, Ages is, because Ages is like, you finish a dungeon, and then it's like, oh, cool, now go do another, like, overworld dungeon. This time, we don't have a female Marco Tree, we have a male Marco Tree. Oh, who's that? Did you wake me? Who are you? Hmm, what? Din was taken while I was asleep? There's no sign of the Temple of Seasons. Oh, this is awful. Guarding the Oracle is my duty. Alas, how I've withered. What is to be done, Link? With the seasons and chaos, the land is robbed of the very essence of nature. Draining all of my might. Can you save Din in my stead? It is all this marquetry has ever asked. I sensed evil on the northern peak where the Temple of Seasons rested. Onyx has cast a shadow on the northern peak. I think you'll find him there. You'll need the eight essences of nature that lie sleeping in Holodrum, though. Gathering all eight essences is the only option. The essences possess the sacred power of nature, with which you can break the shadow barrier and save Din. Shall I repeat this message and annoy you? Very well, then. Then I give you this key. Go to the giant root near the lake up north. The first essence should be there. But I would expect some resistance, so be careful. I'll just, uh, uh, rest until... Oh no, energy! And we get the gold key. Yeah, so instead of uh, being sexually attracted to Link, this Maku tree is just sleepy all the time. Which, honestly, I think is more relatable. However, there is Twitter, so... There are a lot of people who are like, damn, Link. And then when Breath of the Wild came out, people were like, damn, Link. So. We could get a Gasha Seed pretty quickly, but I honestly don't care too much. So the game gets really, like, this is what I mean as well, like, the game just goes into it. It's like, you know, it's just like, you know, go, go ahead. And a lot of the things in Seasons is actually like stuff from, because originally they wanted to remake Zelda 1, or at least that is what we have known for a while, like the general idea, was that they wanted to remake Zelda 1. Uh, so this was kind of like the tester, and then, uh, uh, you know, essentially Nintendo realized that Capcom wasn't stupid, and they knew how to make video games. So they were kind of like, actually, you can just make, you know, a Zelda game. <laughs> Because um, obviously the CDI Zelda games uh, really made uh, Nintendo worry about lending their IPs to people. Uh, but thankfully, Capcom reassured them through these games and also the Minish Cap uh, that, you know, when you get competent people, you get competent work done. Which is awesome. Yeah, a lot of the Seasons dungeons are actually more so built around just exploring and doing shit you do in Zelda 1. Uh, which, yet again, makes that comparison all the more uh, 
normal is the fact that, yeah, like, you know, in this game, it's more about actually, like, um, like, figuring out, you know, how to get to somewhere instead of it being, like, what's the puzzle in this room kind of thing. And puzzles are simply just, like, something like this, where it's, like, you just do it in two seconds kind of thing. There are some done, like, most of the time it's more like, you know, how do I get this thing to go over there kind of puzzle solving, which I actually think is really fun, personally. I like it when the, there's like, there's a half and half where you can't have the puzzles be too annoying, but you also got to have them be a little bit interesting, uh, which I think when you combine these games together, um, you really do get that. I think if you go seasons to ages, you get a way better puzzle experience. Um, because Seasons has not as hard puzzles as Ages, um, but, you know, it'll also let you really get to know the combat system a lot better. So it's kind of a hit and miss with, uh, whichever way you want to go. But personally, uh, I do kind of think that this way is the better way to do it. Uh, fuck. Just because I prefer the, um, I like doing Seasons last just because I would like doing seasons so it feels more of a reward to do seasons uh, and also just to see all the extra little things because I've played seasons so much because I've played it like 20,000 times in my childhood that when I get to play it doesn't really feel like a reward it kind of just feels like oh yeah I'm playing seasons again that thing I do like all the time So we kind of baited him, so then he would come up. We need to get that key for a future uh, area, which will be coming up very shortly. This dungeon is beyond easy. Um, however, this next boss, uh, mini boss rather, is actually kind of annoying. Uh, people do actually kind of have a bit of trouble with him. There is always a fairy in this one. And this is what people have trouble with, is this mini boss. Oh, you cannot pass! And the reason why is because they kind of fuck around, they don't really go for you, they kind of just like, oh, you know, which which way am I going to go? Uh, but if you played Zelda 1, you know this, you know this room. And you'll know the next room too. It's exactly like Zelda 1. Uh, which I think is actually really sick. Uh, I do like a lot of the Zelda 1 callbacks. Because uh, I never really played too much of Zelda 1. But I played just enough where I do notice these things. Uh, so when I was a kid, it was kind of like cool. Uh, and also Zelda... Zelda Seasons doesn't have any of the really annoying stuff that um, Zelda Ages does. With like the reliance on mini games in like the mid game. Uh, and a lot of the stuff like that, like a lot of it is like streamlined in a way to make sure that you, the player experience is actually really fun, unintentionally probably, but um, it's still that, it's still there, you know, like it's still like everything is like built to be fun. Also, uh, in the original uh, Zelda One, you had moblins that would throw boomerangs. These are the only instance of them in the entire game, um, but they they did do that. They referenced that in this game, which I think is super nice. Um, we'll quickly just get some health. And we do have to kill the Stalfos again. So weird that the, the Stalfos are like so weak in this game. This room up here is just like a little like, remember, shoot in the eyes of Goma kind of thing, you know what I mean? Whoa. 
So essentially there'll be four in each one. There's also a ring up here. Uh, I do think because we may have had our rings come over, it might be a different ring, but it might not. Uh, yet again, we're just going to get the seed satchel down for now, because we don't actually need it. One. Fuck. Okay, we're just going to go for it this time. But like, as you can see, like, I think in the first game, like the first, uh, series we did for this game, we got like, probably around this far. Oh, it still counts. Awesome. There we go. Uh, and as you would expect in a Zelda 1 uh, uh, callback, it has the original Aquarius. I think we have. Uh, just as easy as ever. Actually, way easier in this game because you actually have good sword control and stuff like that. But there we go. You got the fertile soil, an essence of nature. Seeds scattered across a bountiful lands are nourished in this fertile soil. There won't be any jokes this time because it's not as funny and it's not as implied. <laughs> It means a Marku tree. Some of the fertile soil has come to me too. I already feel stronger. Oh, in my dreams though, I saw the Temple of Seasons in a strange land. I do not know, uh, but there I saw a precious item that will aid you, Link. That is all I can see for now. Oh, hmm. He's tired. Uh, we have Maple being Maple as always. We're just gonna quickly get this off. We're gonna spin around like an idiot. And we're gonna fucking grab that. I don't care who you are actually, because I actually just wanna mash to get that fucking potion. Um, <laughs> that's Maple, uh, if you remember her from the previous game. And we just got a magic potion! Uh, and considering that this game isn't as annoying as it is sometimes, uh, we're gonna be keeping that magic potion for a while. Shh, don't tell anyone. Essentially there's two of these really early on, they essentially just pay for the strange flute. Uh, which we will try to be going for. Um, we're also gonna be doing the entire trading sequence and all of that normal stuff. We'll plant a Gastashi seed right there. So, a lot of the pieces of heart in this game are actually really simple, really fair, really normal, um, which is actually amazing, because I hate some of the... In ages, the game actually kind of wants the hearts a bit more because of that Varen boss fight. It really does feel, like, annoying to get them. Shush, don't tell anyone. I give you a hundred dollars if you don't tell me I'm living under this guy's house. The things we do for money. Splendid! I can finally focus! Here, take this Kakodex! It's the result of many years of Kaku research. Um, so essentially he can read because, you know, he can really see. Um, which is a fair enough situation. Um, Marco Tree has nothing for us. Right. I found you, your Link. I saw the statue in Lina, and I had to meet you. In honor of our meeting, I can teach you the happiness secret that the fairies of Labrina's fairy wood taught me. What do you say? Um, I guess we'll do this, why not? This is just since you're so cool, Link. If you tell us to the happiness secret, uh, to the fairies in Labrina, you can even be happier. Got that? Here's the secret. So if we go to... Got it? Yes, I do got it. Now we can both be happy. Man, I love fucking the sprite work. You can tell, like, she's cool. Um, now do we have anything interesting here? No, not yet. 
how do I get the shield in this version? That's what I want to know. Um, so we'll see if uh, Smaz has grown up anymore. I don't think he has. Um, we will go see the mayor for a little bit. Um, just to get another Gasha seed, because we may as well plant that. I'm Wu, the mayor of Horn Village. Do you have any Gasha seeds? If you plant one in soft earth, it will grow into a fine tree that bears nuts. And inside those nuts, you'll find all sorts of things. It's so fun, I can't help myself. There's some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. You don't know about Gasha seeds? You're really missing out. I'll give you some of my prized Gasha seeds to welcome you to the town. There's some soft earth just outside. Plant it there. So I can see it. Insert um, the Leon joke that uh, Chris Voice Man did. And uh, if you break into here, there's another Gasha seed. Yeah, so essentially we're just going to do some very small things. Uh, I do want these episodes not to like speed through the game completely. We are going to show some skips, maybe. Depending on how I feel. There is a skip where you don't have to do the subrosion dance hole. You can just use a bomb to blow up the thing. Um, so I think I might do... I might do that. As always, I don't like the dance minigames. Hello, I'm a guy with a guitar and sunglasses, and I'm bald. I could be anyone. Wait, young traveler. Wandering prophet. Sakura. And ah, uh, I can feel it. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. The four spirits are calling to you, my friend. Make no mistake, the Temple of Seasons is still hidden in this world. If you can find the temple, then pay a visit to the spirits who live there. Surely, they can help. Farewell. By farewell, I mean I'm just gonna fucking sit here. If I am correct... Yeah, this is one of those things where you have to go through an alternate exit. And we get that when we get the... Um... World of Seasons. Uh, one thing I like to do is... So that tree we burnt down is permanent. You permanently remove that tree. So what I personally like to do for that occasion is, as soon as I finish the game, I burn down the second part of it. Um, and it's kind of like this cool little memento thing. It's horrible, a temple, like, fell into Subrosia. Um, what's a temple? Subrosia is a secret place. I must return in secret. With that being seen, why am I talking to myself? And why am I, like, totes funny? Um, so welcome to the best minigame they ever fucking made, and they never did it again. It's just fucking hide and seek, and it's just infinitely more fun. Uh, they do this a few times, and it's so much better than the dumb gore and dancing. Because it's actually, like... It's kind of like, you know... You have to, like, figure out, like, oh, where do I want to hide? Where do I want to go? Like, you know, they do kind of, like, you know travel around a bit and you do have to actually kind of be behind something as well so it's not like you can just like kind of cheese it I also love the music as well also it's just that subrosions are just so much more endearing and uh just in case um I like them a lot it's sad that we never got subrosions again um, I think actually, we are going to hold off on going to Subrosia until the next episode. So, I hope you all had an absolutely wonderful day. I hope you all loved this episode of Zelda uh, Seasons, not Ages this time. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll be going into Subrosia and seeing all there is to do there for now. So, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>